In September, Apple is expected to release its latest four flagship phones, the iPhone 15 series. Of course, we tend to know a lot about highly anticipated phones like the iPhone 15 before they arrive thanks to various leaks and rumors, but their looks usually grab the attention more than anything else. For that matter, I wanted to share with you the design of the iPhone 15 via mock-up renders based on everything the rumors have leaked so far. Just don't forget that these are just concept images and like their inspiration. They don't really represent what the iPhone 15 models will actually look like once they're released. In addition to the possible practical design changes for the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, there are new action buttons that are said to work similarly to the Apple Watch Ultra. This new button will replace the mute switch on Apple's iPhone we know and love. As you might suspect, that means no more satisfying clicks when you slide the switch up and down, and no more red lines when you mute the phone. In return, however, you can set this new action button to do something completely different, offering more ways than ever to customize the way you use your iPhone. However, the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus are said to retain the mute switch for now. Also, by the way, while our renders show the iPhone 15 combining volume up and volume down keys, like some Android phones, that may not end up being the case. Some of the latest rumors suggest that Apple will stick with two separate volume buttons. Phone makers have been chasing the idea of maximizing screen space on phones while minimizing the TH. Ickness of all four bezels. Well, one of the biggest changes expected to see on the iPhone 15 series, especially the Pro models, is thinner bezels. Now, none of the new iPhone models are said to feature a larger display than the iPhone 14, but the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max are said to have bezels as narrow as 1.5mm. That would make Apple's newest high-end flagships two phones with the thinnest bezels ever. The bezels on the regular iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus are also likely to get thinner, though not as thin as those on the Pro models, but those two models are much less likely to see this change in design. Some people love the ultra-curved, pebble-like look and feel of the iPhone 11, while others prefer the ultra-sharp edges from the iPhone 12 onwards. There are rumors that Apple will try to combine the above advantages of the iPhone 15 series. More precisely, the side frames will be more curved back rather than flat, while maintaining the sharp edges where the screen sits. The top is where the display is located, and the bottom is where the rear panel is. Allegedly, this will be to make the iPhone 15 series, all four models, easier to hold for long periods of time, like when you're infinitely scrolling YouTube shorts, while still maintaining a fairly modern rectangular look. Additionally, some leaks indicate that Apple will upgrade the bezels of all iPhone 15 models, offering titanium bezels for the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max, and stainless steel bezels for the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus. Whatever the reason we end up getting iPhones with USB-C, the truth is that the iPhone 15 series will likely be the first to mark the occasion. Now, this isn't a visual change that's too noticeable to begin with, but a closer look through the keen eyes of enthusiasts should be enough to reveal it. For the Pro models, the transition to USB-C may also mean faster charging and transfer speeds. However, the regular iPhone 15 and 15 Plus models are said to not include this upgrade, as the USB-C port may only result in a slightly different appearance. The dynamic island was one of the main selling points of last year's iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. But this year's iPhone 15 series is expected to feature it. Yes, that means both the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus should come with Dynamic Island and all the software and features that come with it. Essentially, this means we'll finally see the demise of the iconic notch that first appeared on the iPhone 10 in 2017. This year we will finally see Apple add a periscope telephoto camera to its largest and most expensive V model the iPhone 15 Pro Max, according to the leak. At first you might think that means there will be four cameras on the back of the phone, but leaks so far suggest that the new Periscope telephoto camera will simply replace the previous generation's 3x zoom camera. Design-wise, 
That means two things a bigger camera bump and a rectangular shape inside the telephoto lens, rather than a circle. Color is probably the easiest way to freshen up your phone, and it works surprisingly well. iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus Colors Midnight Starlight Product Red A shade of pink A shade of blue iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max Colors Space Black Silver Gold Dark Red Is the above your expectation? Looking forward to your message, see you in the next video.